Hello guys, most people don't know that Windows 7 has a built-in display color calibration window program for you to use to calibrate your new your new monitors that you have hooked up. I have a Dell hooked up and we're going to go through that today with that. You won't be able to see it because it's just recording the screen, but I'll go through the basics of how you will be able to calibrate your own your own screen that you have just purchased or installed into your computer hopefully. Um, so to start with this, you uh, you type in DCCW, which stands for, um, which stands for Display Color Calibration Window. So to start off, it'll say pretty much welcome here. If you want to calibrate your display, put it on the display that you want. So your new display, I have two displays, one over here. You won't be able to see that, and one over here. I'm going to calibrate this one today. So you'll click next, and then it'll say um, restore your screen to factor defaults. On most current screens, there'll be buttons along the right hand side. It could be anywhere, maybe on the back. And what you will want to do is you'll either want to go through every category and click reset settings, or you will go to probably an other category with other settings, or be on the front page, maybe we go through all of them and it'll say restore to factory settings. Each monitor should have that. And so that's what it wants you to do here. Next, it'll say if the gamma is too low, it'll look like this. The gamma is too high to look like this. You want to get without the dots in the middle. So you'll click next and it'll be here and you're supposed to move the slider up and down to minimize the visibility of small dots in the middle of each circle. For mine, for my display, I move it all the way down and that's when it's closest to the dots being gone or it would be right about here maybe too. But you do it on your screen till the dot right in the middle of each, each little circle until that's gone. Then next you will go to the brightness adjustment. You can skip this because most people's displays automatically do brightness and it really doesn't change anything. You just go brighter or darker. It doesn't change much things, but here Microsoft has it. So it'll help you change your brightness to be the best that it can be for your display. So too dark, you'll be able to tell in this picture that you can't see anything in the background. Perfect means that you can see all the little details. You can see the slight X here with the line coming beside it and too bright. It'll just start looking washed and gray. So from there, we'll click next and you were supposed to use your brightness controls, which again, you will get to by pressing the side buttons on your monitor. And there should be a preset of brightness and contrast and a menu um, menu selection there. And you'll click brightness and contrast and you will just go on the original and you move the bar up and down using your monitor settings, nothing on this screen here. You'll move it up and down till this, the X looks good. You can see all the details on the mat and it doesn't look washed and like the brightness is too high. The next, we'll go for the contrast. Um, this setting is a little bit harder to set because it's more, I know I find it's more preference than perfect perfection type thing, but the good contrast, like the bad contrast means that this will be gray. Good contrast means that it's it's pretty like it's pretty much black, not as black as this, but it's black, but you can still see all the details. Too much contrast, you won't be able to see the wrinkles in a shirt. So to go too high, you'll be looking for the wrinkles. For too low, you'll be looking for the, the washed out color again. So we'll click next and Currently, I can't see the wrinkle in his, in his shirt too well, so I will go to my own brightness and contrast settings, move it over to the contrast bar, and I'll lower my contrast so I can see the wrinkles more in his shirt. Then I'll exit it out, and it should be good. It looks dark, because I can see the wrinkles, and it's good. I'll click next, and then now you have to look for the neutral grays and for for the, the color balance in your screen. Next, you'll move each of these bars up and down until the color on the colors on all of these these slates here they look gray and the color should be all the way taken away it says move red and green blue sliders to remove any color cast from the, these gray bars so you shouldn't be seeing color it should be just shades that you are seeing and next just to show the difference you won't see anything again because it's the screen calibration that's being changed back and forth but you can click on these to see what is different also what's included with this is the this the clear type tuner for your displays and so if you want to do clear type, it'll change the text more to your liking um, more than anything. So you can check it or not check if you want it. I always suggest to run it. It does make text look better. So you run it, you can say, uh, um, you if you want to turn it on, you'll click that. And then you'll, I have two monitors on, but right now I'll just tune one. So you can tune them both, it'll, it'll tune one display and then it'll go on to the next one and tune that one, it'll be separate. So you click next, next, and then you just select whichever box looks better. This box looks better to me. Um, this box looks better to me. Usually we have the middle one that's the default. Sometimes it's the left or the right. Uh, this box again looks better for me. 
uh, this box looks better for me. Then you'll just switch it to whichever one looks better. And then once you're done, you'll click finish and it should be adjusted for your, your new screen. It'll be calibrated. Some screens have automatic cal calibration, but this is one uh, that's built into the Windows 7 OS that should give you your best, um, your best screen. And it lets you do it yourself so you can suit it to your own preferences, which is great. So again, most of these things are done through the display settings and the buttons that are on the display and not on the computer itself. You'll have seen that I couldn't show most of the changes that I did on this screen as I was doing it. I was doing it with my, um, with my display and the buttons on there. So I hope this helped and I hope that you will enjoy your new screens a lot more now. Thank you.